This is number 16 from the 2022 Algebra 1 EOC. Which expression is equivalent to c to the 8th power times d to the 6th power raised to the 3rd power over c squared for all values of c for which the expression is defined? So I'm going to rewrite my expression and the first thing I need to do is take care of my parentheses. So I'm going to multiply my 6 and 3 to get 18. So I can rewrite that as c to the 8th times d to the 18th over c squared. From here, I just need to subtract the eight and the two that both go with C, and that's gonna end up giving me C to the sixth power times D to the 18th power, which is letter J. This is number 17 from the 2022 Algebra 1 EOC. Which value of X is the solution to this equation? So we have 5X squared equals 30X minus 45, and the first thing I wanna do is get everything on the same side. So I'm gonna leave 5X squared where it is because I want that term to be positive, and I'm gonna get 30X and minus 45 back over to that side. So all we have to do is just change the signs. So we're gonna end up with 5X squared minus 30X plus 45 is equal to zero. So now we can start factoring. So I notice that I can take or divide out a five from every single term. So I'm gonna take my five out and then in parentheses, I'm still gonna have X squared minus 6X plus nine. Next, inside the parentheses, I have a trinomial, so I can go ahead and factor this out into two sets of parentheses. Okay, so I need two numbers that multiply to positive nine and add to negative six. And so if you think about that for a second, you should end up getting negative three and negative three because they multiply to nine and add negative six. So I have five parentheses x minus three, another parentheses x minus three, and we still need that to equal zero. And so we need to find a number that if we plug in for X is going to make that whole expression zero. So obviously that's gonna be positive three because three minus three is zero. So that means our answer is letter A. This is number 18 from the 2022 Algebra One EOC. A florist is making bouquets of flowers for a wedding. Each bouquet will have nine flowers. The graph shows the linear relationship between Y, the number of flowers used, and X, the number of bouquets. The florist will use no more than eight bouquets for the wedding. Which set best represents the domain of the function for this situation? So I noticed right away that we're talking about the domain, and I know that the domain is always talking about the X values. So I'm gonna look at my graph, and I'm gonna see what the X value is for each point. So once I do that, I'm gonna see that I have a point at zero, one, two, three, all the way until I have eight. And so my domain should be the numbers zero through eight. And if I look at my answer choices, that's gonna be letter G. This is number 19 from the 2022 Algebra 1 EOC. The graph of a line is shown on the grid. The coordinates of both points indicated on the graph of the line are integers. What is the rate of change of Y with respect to X for this line? So I know that the rate of change is the same thing as slope. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a right triangle with the two points that they give us. That way I can find the slope. So once I do that, I see that I'm gonna go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 spots. And since we're going down, that's gonna be a negative number. Then we're gonna to go to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So my rise over run is negative 10 over 12, which reduces to negative five over six. So my answer is letter D. This is number 20 from the 2022 Algebra One EOC. What is the value of the y-intercept of the graph of h of x is equal to 12.3 times 4.9 raised to the x power? So we know that anytime we're looking for the y-intercept, that's just gonna be the point where x is equal to zero. So I'm gonna go to the function they give us, and I'm gonna plug in zero for x and just plug that into my calculator and see what I get. So that's gonna be 12.3 times 4.9 raised to the power of zero, and I put that into my calculator and I should get 12.3.